Here at the 2013 470 World Championships in La Rochelle, France, we are on to race day five and the concluding day of the final stage for the 170 teams. Two races were held for all fleets, and up in the gold fleet, the pressure was on the leading teams to post results to advance them to the top eight in each of the men's and women's fleets competing in the medal race on Saturday. A blustery day with some massive wind shifts forced the race committee to hold off racing until the wind had stabilised a bit. Racing alongside the longer-term partnerships are some of the younger teams, such as Bouvet and Mion from France, who claim numerous junior world and European championship titles. Experienced teams such as Olympians Lingram Brothers, who finished fourth at last year's Worlds, Mantis and Kyalis from Greece are up against one of the youngest teams competing in the Gold Fleet, the brother partnership of Alex and George Cavas. Contesting the women's fleet are the world number one team from the USA, Hager and Provencha. The first start for the men heavily favoured the pin end. Olympic bronze medalists Calabresa and De La Fuente were not looking so orderly off the line. Also tacking off to the right were Mantis and Kayalis, along with Japan's Matsunaga and Yoshida. Series leaders going into the day, La Boucher and Le Bair from France struggled to get off the start line and were well back in the fleet by the middle of the upwind. On to the outer loop and downwind, the Lingram brothers had an incredible lead over the rest. Second were Curaga and Pequen with the Americans McNay and Hughes in third. The order remained the same as they rounded the downwing gate with Germany's Gerds and Follmann also in pursuit. Following up were Greece, Argentina and France's Bouvet and Mion. Australia's Belcher and Ryan rounded the mark just behind the Greeks but overtook just after rounding. Rock forwards to the finish and Finland continued to extend and easily claim the win, with the Greek pair crossing in second to secure their best result of the final series. On to the second race of the day and Croatia's Fantella and Marinic took the best start at the pin end, with the Australians and Greeks a few metres behind. With a storm approaching, Belcher and Ryan were the first to spot the wind shift left and moved into pole position, which they held to the finish and jumped into the overall series lead. Mantis and Kyalis finished in fifth and moved into second overall. In the 470 women gold fleet, in the first race of the day, America's Bolger and Shevitz took the best start of the pin end, and together with China's Zhu and Yu and Wang and Huan immediately tacked together to cross the fleet on top. Rechichi and Cook chose a start in the middle of the line and produced some great boat speed and sailed the shifts to accelerate through the pack. The right side of the track was clearly favoured, and the fleet headed over. France's European champions Le Quintre and Gironde were at this point in the race not looking very comfortable and were going to need to work hard to stay in touch with the front of the pack. The Australians continued to outpace the fleet and claimed their second win of the World Championships, an impressive outcome for the 2008 Olympic gold medal helm and new crew Cook who was an Olympic rower in 2012. All change in the second race with the Kiwis back at the front of the fleet to finish in third and safely advance the medal race lineup in the first overall and with a helpful 11 point margin over the Austrians. Let's have a look at the final results. Behind the Kiwis, the Austrians are second and hold a three point lead over the third placed French. In the 470 men, Australia leads with a 7-point margin over the Greeks in second and Argentina another 6 points behind in third. Yeah, we have a really good day, we enjoy it and are waiting for tomorrow. Uh, I think the important in the medal race is to race your course and don't think so much about the other boat. Uh, ultimately the day didn't form in the way that the forecast uh, was predicting in the way that we were expecting but you know that that is always a challenge with our sport we are 
Our engine is invisible. That was it. Stay tuned for the medal races tomorrow.